I like how they introduced more 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 of the science. Like the um, there's the ultraviolet, and what was the other thing? Um, Dude, the flashbang. Flashbang. Flash yes. Bang? Yes. <laughs> flashbang was pretty dope. I'm not the flashbang was sick. Was very dope. But then it was also. But then it was like uh, it seemed so intense, and then immediately after, it's just like it was just kind of like a it was like a downfall where it, they, you think it's like a hype moment. And then, of all people, Sink was on top of her, and then it. Just yeah, no, it was a hype mode. You can't, you can't let that take away from the fact that the flashbang did its job. You know, that was and still, then, yeah, that was still sick. Just, but it's yeah. like, how did it not affect her more though? But it affected uh, the other blonde girl, like, like, it, like probably because she had, she had more vision, like she had better vision, so she was more sensitive to it in a sense. What? Uh, but hmm. like, I don't know because she was like, it was she was like right in front of it. Right, but if you're already like kind of blind in a sense, right, it would probably not be as effective as someone who had like super good vision. Right, kind of like if you had like super good like uh, sense of smell, and someone farted in front of your face, it would probably <laughs> affect you a lot more than say some guy who uh, like, has a stuffy nose. Okay, that part. You know? it's okay, like, okay. That part right. probably, probably more shown in than the science part, so I'll, I didn't worry about too much. The only other thing I'll say well, is like that's how I'm interpreting it. So <laughs> the only other thing I'm saying is um, man, they have so much rare metals in that one K. That's like a treasure, a treasure. For them, like, hey since, man, when you yeah. have like multiple thousands of years for like the metals to like, you know, shape and form. It's still Japan, like, man. It's still I. I still have trouble thinking like Japan gets all this rare metal, but you never whatever. know, man. Yeah, show and show, dude. You whatever, gotta have it. Whatever, we'll, we'll roll with it. But the, the only weak, uh, the only weak part of this is like I don't really care about the like the villain in a sense. The uh, even though I don't think she's gonna maintain, I don't think she's gonna stay a villain. I think she'll become a an ally. Is like the gymnastics girl. Oh, um, yeah, I just don't like. I just, yeah, I don't know. There's just like a lot of things I just don't really. Um, I don't. I don't know. Just the villains in the show, I just don't like care much for. Just because it's just. Uh, I don't know. It's just hard to explain. No, no. Like, I, I actually, I feel the same as you, Shred. Like, I don't care. I. I mean, besides the science, like I like Senku and the village people. I like them discovering new things, and yeah. I think that's the plot. Just them, just like rebuilding society and like discovering new things. Whereas, like. This whole the Stone Wars part, it's like I just want yeah. to get, get that part over with. Like, I don't know. So I, far, so far though, sorry, David. Uh, with the Stone Wars though, they've been actually been using science though. We've been avoiding like those those like uh, typical shonen fights. Hmm. So far, but we'll see how long that actually lasts. But the uh, but no, the, like the flashbang, the the flashbang part. I thought was the part I thought was like really sick. And even at the end where they actually got like. So when I was thinking about like the previous show with Jujutsu Kaisen that we were talking about and how the guy was deaf, I got uh, confused with this show. The show? This okay. guy, yeah, because this, this is, is the guy that has the bow and like the the, the he's intense. Not, he's hearing. not blind though, Strand. He just has super. super See, that's the, th- well, that's the thing. I couldn't remember. I, that, that's what I was saying before. Though. I just immediately think like, oh yeah, crazy hearing. The guy must be blind. There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but that's just like immediately where my mind goes, just from previous shows and that's uh, this. Uh, but it's uh, but it, like at the end though, when they finally like, actually like got in contact with the, uh, oh god, I forgot their names. Um, um Taiju, Taiju and Yuzuhara, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah basically, like, cause I, I, I don't really like Taiju. I think he's just an extremely annoying character. But like, but even like when they watch. got in contact again, even when they got in contact again, I was like, damn, it brought a tear to my That's eye. Friend, you like obnoxious characters. Not this kind of obnoxious though. Like it's just like it's like what how in Black Clover, like the first episode, like I like when he was starting to talk and yell, I thought, damn, this is a new voice actor. I was like, this is this is pretty new. Episode two, done with it. I was like, okay, we can move on. Um I, that's I kinda like have that kind of feeling. I can only take so much about it. But hmm. the one thing is that they've been gone for so long in the show, like you kinda got like a re- thing. it was like a kind of like it was a uh kind of what cleansed. Uh, it was like a, just a cleansing. And then now uh I'm actually kinda happy to see them. I have a feeling uh, that, like, I, mean, I, suppose. Uh, I have a feeling like when, uh, when that archer guy, when he thought was suspicious around the grave, I feel like that's got to screw them over. Like, Sakasa's got to know about it, and he's got to make an ambush or counterattack around that. Yeah, somehow, like, Sukasa just knows, like, everything that's happening, too. It's like, man, this guy, like, basically beats up tigers and lions, and then yet somehow he just knows. Because science, stuff. baby. Oh, yes, because he's top notch on science. <laughs> this brute strength, fuck. <laughs> So I don't know. There's there's so certain elements in the show. I'm just like whatever. But I have like the like the DBZ mentality. It's still fun. It's still like my favorite mm-hmm. yeah, sequel of. Oh yeah, yeah. All the other shows. Any but, song is so good too. I don't remember. Uh, I don't. I just watched it. I, I know I liked it. Right now I can't remember it. But okay. I'll get back so to you me. on that trend. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> but let's see. 
Uh, but uh, do you guys feel like the same way on like the the gymnastics lady? Do you think she's gonna become good? Bad? You know, I I, I think the say. the whole I think the whole concept of the show is that they're gonna try to convert everyone to, with no to their side, yeah. right? With no deaths, right? So I think they're gonna slowly work on that, and they will probably succeed because you have to remember these are all uh, teenagers, right? There's no adults, so everyone like in a sense when you're an adult, you're kind of uh, set on your way of thinking. And uh, you're very stubborn, and you probably have more bloodlust than these these younger um, people, right? So teenagers, whatever. So I think it'll be a lot easier for them to convince them that, hey, you know, let's, you know, we have no reason to fight. You know, let's just be allies. And then with the plan that they have to convert them over with with that false hope, I, I think it'll be like the direction that the show is going to go in. And then I think Sukasa, even Sukasa. Like later on towards the end, he'll probably convert over as well. Once everyone else has been converted and he's the only one left, so I still think like the only show. Oh, I think the only person I, I think that's actually going to die from all this is going to be Sukasa, just because I don't think there's any way that this guy's going to become good. No, because I think that would uh, that would go against their uh, like Senku's belief. So I don't think well, that's going to be a thing. But, but, but the thing is, I don't think they're going to kill him. I think he's going to end up like somehow it's going to be like the, that moment of turning, like you know, like, you kind of like how they pull it out, where it's like, oh, this guy's actually going to become like a part of their crew. Right. And then he dies off from like them saving him. Like he saves them somehow in some situation. I think it's, it's, I just assume it's going to be one of the, it's going to be like that kind of shonen trope. Oh, huh. Yeah, I suppose. That's like, that's, uh, oh, that's how I, whatever his friend said, was exactly how I felt too. So yeah, like, that, that's how I just get it. Cause I yeah. don't, like, I think this guy is like so against like, you know, grown ups. He yeah, just has intense PTSD. I don't think there's any way really. Uh, but I mean, but we'll see. I, I mean, I still think that I, I'm still going to hold my beliefs that they, somehow it's going to happen and, and like a majority of these people are going to become good or survive or if they're going to die off it's going to be saving them if so there was uh, a death in season one i would believe that but since there hasn't been a single death yet i seriously doubt that's going to be the case but so you actually see them becoming good though like a part of their crew i mean yeah even even before sukasa killed senku right he even had uh, like some kind of like regrets or like uh he had these flashbacks like, man, like if we met 3,000 years earlier, do you think we would have been like good friends? And then he had flashbacks of him being part of Senku's group when he when they were doing that thing, like those things, you know? So I see that too. Yeah. yeah, and 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 again, like these aren't like adults; they're they're still kids in a sense, so they still have that that fresh young mentality. So I don't think he's a hardened, like he had like he's he's hardened himself to to be that this brute like this ruthless killer that he's like setting up himself to be, right? Uh, so I think it's very possible. Seeing Tsukasa as a kid is just like there's absolutely there's no way. <laughs> I like, mean, I, I like how they say like, oh, this guy's a high schooler, but yeah, he's like he's basically takes on lions and tigers. So it's like, <laughs> sure, whatever, yeah. whatever, whatever you say, Shonen, I'll believe you, and I'll still enjoy your show. <laughs> right, but I mean, like I said, it's, I think it's very possible. Yeah, it's still like I don't know, like I, I'm still just like wanting to see like what happens in the show, especially with like just like uh like the one thing we were kind of scared about, like how I think uh, David mentioned it at the beginning, where we didn't want like those typical shonen fights that we were actually hoping like for like the science part of it. Which like at the start of this, it seems like it's actually the science. Yeah, well, when I say typical yeah. shonen fights, like I thought like with their initial invasion, like yeah, when just like yeah. the the village people, their katanas against like like. Sukasa and uh, Hyogo <laughs> and like gone. and even in Homura, like they all look so OP. So yeah. yeah, villains always look OP, and they always look thirty years older than they're supposed to. <laughs> yeah, they even mentioned yeah. they mentioned that too. Like like the they had like these soldiers in Sukasa's group, and like are you guys really supposed to be high schoolers? Dude, even like that group of like where they show like you know who's gonna be you know like they're gonna like revive next. Yep, like they all look like fucking thirty like thirty year old built. <laughs> Like built people, they look like Brian. <laughs> <laughs> not, wow. not, 30, not thirty years wow. old. You know, rude, no. so Yo. rude. What the heck, Brian? I'm not. I'm not uh, you're, you you definitely look much younger than me. But uh, oh hell know. no, Brian! Don't take that shit lying down. But Brian would be Brian. Brian, you would be one of the people. If this ends up happening in the future, you would be revived by Sukasa. So don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, okay, dude. I'm yep. pretty sure I can't beat a line with my bare fist. Hey, I mean, man, have you, you ever have, have you ever tried though? See, that's the thing. I don't think I'll be able to. <laughs> uh, you just gotta believe. You just gotta believe, man. <laughs> yeah, dude, just let me power up real quick. You want there you go. Start yelling. Yelling. Yeah, one year after post COVID, and we'll we'll see, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> you, you go back to the B status, I believe. So they just throw me into like a gorilla pit or something. To see if I can last. <laughs> no, we'll see if the gorilla can last. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. But then, I mean, I mean it, it's fine. It's it's part of the, the show and trope, right? So yes. it's, it's whatever. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. yeah, it's still not taken away from the fact that the show has a lot to offer you other than those fights. Yeah, so. but it's just like, it just feels like the show, they're just holding a show back. So that's like, that's, it's not a bad thing. It's just like, it's just, I don't know. Yeah, that, I, it's, I it's, it's well, just that, a shame that like, it could have been much better if you didn't have the shonen tropes holding it back. 